Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel project series. My name is Anil and from today we are just going to start a new project on the Laravel. All right. So these three uh, points are for our this video and these are the for upcoming all videos. All right. So these are the modules of our project. You can see that. So in this video we will uh, install the composer, then we will install the Laravel and we will see that how we can uh, start the project. All right. So basically this project is from the very scratch, even you just need a uh, PHP installed in your system. Otherwise everything we I will show you that how you need to manage and how you just need to install it. All right. After that, um, these are the models or you can say that the task of our project. So we will see that how we can uh, make the restaurant listing and how we can add the new restaurant update and delete and how we can set up the routing in project login registration user profile how we can add the bootstrap and jquery and we will see some api things and all all right so now let's see that uh, how we can just install the composer for that i'm just going to show you these three things with the official documentation all right so you also get to know that how we can just get from the data from the official website and uh, uh, the complete code of this project you will get on, you can get on the github repository and the github repository link is also given in the old videos description box so now let's start so first of all just write a composer and uh, just search let's click on the first link with the get composer and let's click on the download and uh, even you are using the mac or windows or you are using the ubuntu linux uh, whatever you are using you can use the same command for everything so you just need to run the three commands fourth command for uninstall the composer so just copy the first command and let's uh, close this my previous terminal also and just uh, run this command so maybe you can ask that uh, where we have to run this command any specific folder or where so composer is basically work on a globally on your system so you can run it anywhere you don't need to run on any specific folder all right so these two thi things will just uh, get the uh, composer installer and they are just verify the hash keys and all and the third command will set up the composer in your system so just run it and it will just take around one to two minutes depends on the internet speed also so now now let's check out wait for it or uh, uh, you can ask me the one more thing that uh, is we can use the laravel without the uh, composer yes this is possible but but this is not recommended way because uh, without composer you cannot use the command line and there's a lots of issue when you just uh, update your project right so uh, composer is always recommended after installing this uh, let's check that the, is it installed properly or not for that you can just write here composer and just hit the enter you will see that the composer is installed with the specific version and these are some uh, list of the helping commands right so now let's just go on the laravel official website laravel.com and let's go on a documentation so that we can see that how we can install it so on the installation it will just tell you that your php version should be greater than 7.2.5 all right and you just need to install the laravel installer first of all because there is a two way to install the laravel one is with with the uh, uh, laravel installer and second one is you can use it that by the uh, composer create project so recommended way is laravel installer because uh, it will just take the lots of thing in the cache and when you just want to make a new project you need a just this command and everything will just it will catch from the cache and uh, it's too quick and to easy to install all right so it will just take some moments so that i am just going to pause this video so that we can just save the video length so laravel com installer is, is installed here so let's check it is it working fine yes uh, you can see that this is working fine and there is a three command which is provided by the laravel so now let's see that how we can install the laravel so just go on the desktop and seven folder here i will just make everything every work about the laravel so if you just find their ls then you will see the two project blocks my tutorial resto hi that this is my restaurant project in hindi and let's just uh, write here laravel new 
and resto en en means in english so let's uh, just hit the enter and now you can see that everything is coming from the cache here which is want to check because it's too quick and quick and uh, you can see that this is installed here so now let's check out here resto English and here you can just write here php artisan serve and just hit the enter and you will find that this is running on a 127.0.0.1 and 800 port 8000 port all right so in the next video we will see that how we can set up the routing and how we can just uh, uh, configuration the database and all so don't forget to subscribe my channel please like this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care